Good morning. So here. So good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, and um, good night in Australia. Good morning, good morning. It's so good to be here with you all again. Buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias, and bom dia, bom dia, bom dia in Portuguese, bom dia in German, good morning. Here we are, no guten tag, that is a good day. So, good night Australia. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you have read a wonderful week and that you are ready to just connect with your I am presence in this moment with the brotherhood of the Royal Teton Retreat and also learn about the mental body that is so important because it's the bridge of the connection of our individuality to our personality and we are going to talk about it today so it's 3 p.m here and let's dive into our selves So welcome to the Seven Sacred Weeks, Vlog 34. In today's steps, we will perform decrease and visualization for the electronic circle. Then we are going to do decrease of the violet flame, healing and opulence. And then we are going to study uh, the basics of the mental body. And just remember you, I don't know uh, if there are people that don't go to stay until the end. In the next week, uh, I don't go to do the service on Friday, but Saturday. Because on Friday, next week, my husband has an event and I need to go with him. And so it's in my afternoon, I cannot do the self in that day. So in the next week, we are going to postpone it for Saturday. But I go to remind uh, all the people I can in the end and also when I post the link for the selves. So before I start, just place the attention on your mighty and presence within your heart. Place your hands upon your heart and feel your heart beat. Your heart beating. It's a reminder of the activity of God within your physical level. Just feel your I am presence and invite your presence to govern your activities of thought, 
feelings, words, and deeds. Give thanks to this presence of light. Send your love. to this divine presence within you. And then let us start this service with the opening blessing. Beloved mighty I am presence here, there and everywhere. We love, bless and thank you forever, forever and beyond. For I am new and you are in me, we are one. On this journey through eternity, oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am. And now, dear hearts, let us move our attention to the Christmas star above our house. We see we are feeding that star every week. And that star in this moment is so beautiful and radiant. So just visualize that star above your house and feel the expansion of lighting from that star, blessing, descending, from that star to bless all the area where you live, charging everyone, everything in your neighborhood and city and country with the perfection of God, the perfection of light the Ascended Master Consciousness, Ascended Master Love, Wisdom, Power, Happiness, Purity, Comprehension, Understanding, Perfect Cooperation, Health, Vitality, And so it's time. And also feel the connection of the star above your house with the star above the rock mountains. And feel the expansion of that sun presence above the rock mountains, expanding its light rays to bless America, Canada, and all the world. Feel the heart center of this activity the Brotherhood of the Royal Teton Retreat is there. And I can see the face of the lovely Delanto is smiling to all of us. May the Ascended Master protect our atmospheres protect our service, protect our internet connection, protect the force field that we built through the love of our threefold flame. And may they use us and this force field to pour oceans of blessings to this world and i know it's done and it's sustained almighty i am 
โอมไมชยังโอมไมชยัง And now let us take our water and do the call for the legs of light. Beloved I am Tresen Saint Germain, brotherhood of the royal Teton retreat, lords of the elements and power and powers of light, please charge, charge and charge this mineral water with whatever substances and virtues we need to restore the beauty, youth, health and vitality and perfection of the ascended masters in our physical bodies when we drink this water at the end of our decrees. By the light of God that never fails, I command the demand and it's done right now. O mighty Yam, O mighty Yam, O mighty Yam. And let us place the water uh, upon the table uh, to be charged during our service to the light. And we are going to start again with the calls uh, for the electronic circle of protection. And then we are going to seal it uh, in the end with the visualization uh, of the charge of the mighty young presence. So together, beloved mighty young presence, ascended masters, Elohim, archangels, our higher mental bodies and cosmic beings of light, I am the violet flame in through and around my four lower bodies, always sustained in God's purity. I am that I am, I am that I am, I am that I am. I am one with my source of life, the cause and delight, God Almighty, who feel and now this call, I am. I am the beauty, perfection, and power of my tube of crystalline white light substance, always bright, radiant, and full of vibrations of light, that makes and keeps me visible and invincible to all human creations now and forever. I am that I am, I am that I am, I am that I am. I am one with my source of life, the cosmic light of God Almighty, fulfill and all this call I am. And I am the invincible power of the wall of radiant blue flame sealing my tube of light, giving me total protection against disturbing elements and human suggestions. I am that I am, I am that I am, I am that I am. I am one with my source of light, the cosmic light, God Almighty, fulfill and now this call I am. And I am the invincible power of my electronic circle of protection, now manifested and forever sustained. I am the invincible power of my electronic circle of protection, now manifested and forever sustained. I am the invincible power of my electronic circle of protection, now manifested and forever sustained. I am that I am, I am that I am, I am that I am. I am one with my source of life, the cosmic light, God Almighty, fulfill and all this call I am. Almighty I am, Almighty I am, Almighty I am. And now to your hearts, just contemplate the chart. Place yourself in the position of the chila. Raise your hands and feel your connection with your electronic body. Feel the violet flame blazing in through and around your four lower bodies, holding them in a sainted master purity. 
feel the electronic substance of your tube of light clothe on you in ascended master protection seal this tube of light with the blue flame given it almighty protection and within this protection feel that you are through the power authority of the presence within your heart in perfect control of the gifts of your causal body, the rings of light around your presence. And feel that you are one with God. And you are God in action, creating a world of perfection, beauty, and happiness in this outer activity. And I call to the presence to hold you within this almighty perfection and protection of the light until you are ascended and free and that you may experience life, fulfill your divine plan in this world, but never more be touched by human creation. And I know it's done and it's sustained. Almighty oh, I am, Almighty oh, I am, Almighty oh, I am. And now we are going to do some decrees, just few decrees and visualization. Uh, and then after that, we are going to study the mental body and to start eating let us first send as always i would like that you visualize it, that you are in that ascended master presence that we just uh, uh, visualize it during our protocol and that we are together everyone that is doing it in this moment or even after by the video uh, that is staying in the profile that we are forming a circle around the planet not as human beings but as a thing that master presence of light and that you we just pour love, wisdom, discernment to America and all American people so that they can perceive by the power and clarity of their God presence within them what they need to do for the blessings of America. And just visualizing the expansion of light in the heart and mind of all American people, that they can see the truth, accept the truth, and 
just walk in the truth and will of God for them. And I ask that the same blessing can be given to all the people and countries around the world. And I know it's done and it's sustained. Almighty oh, Yang, Almighty oh, Yang, Almighty oh, Yang. And now let us do these two calls for the blessing of America. Beloved, mighty Yang Presence and Great Divine Director, seize the possession of America, the government in her people, control her resources and direct her activities by thy almighty perfection, envelop her in that invincible wall of light through which nothing can pass but the perfection of the ascended masters and keep it eternally sustained. O mighty Yam, O mighty Yam, O mighty Yam. And beloved mighty Yam Presence, San German, great divine director, Cytropia, and power and powers of light, take command, hold dominion, and produce perfection in the 2024 elections in America, bring into victory. Only the candidate who can best serve thy light and who can do the best for America and the world. I know it's done and it's sustained. Oh, mighty I am. Oh, mighty I am. Oh, mighty I am. And now just feel the violet flame blazing in through and around you. And let us call together. Beloved and mighty and presence, Saint German, architects and mighty legions of angels of the violet flame. Descend with your sun presence of the violet flame, a cosmic Christ control, and through and around me, my house, affairs, family, neighbors, city, country, and world, releasing my external activity from everything that is not the perfection of the ascended masters. Keep this sun presence flowing, cleaning, sweeping away any and all particles of discord from my being in word until I am ascended and free, free from all human creation now and for all eternity. I am that I am, I am that I am, I am that I am. I am one with my source throughout the day. Beloved, mighty and presence, close us in thy violet consuming flame and keep it sustained and expanding through us throughout the day. Beloved, mighty and presence, close us in thy violet consuming flame and keep it sustained and expanding through us throughout the day, the week, the month, and every day. Oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am. I feel exhausted again. I demand love and every human being. Descend with oceans of violet flame and brilliant of cosmic purity on earth and sweep with stun and it's sustained. Oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am. And now we are going to uh, call for healing but before we call for a healing we need to sweep the discord out of us because you know all problems disease and um, problems that we have in finances and uh, anyway in all the field of our life is caused by discordant crystallizations in our four lower bodies. So together, mighty victory and his legions of victory in full action, sweep this cord out of me, my holy life stream, out of my family, my house, neighbors and city, out of my cord, out of us, sweep this cord out of us, oh mighty I am. Sweep it discord out of us, sweep it discord out of us, sweep it discord out of us. 
give thy command sweep it is scored out of us sweep it is scored out of us sweep it is scored out of us it has no power sweep it is scored out of us sweep it is scored out of us sweep it is scored out of us heal us this hour sweep it is scored out of us sweep it is scored out of us sweep it is scored out of us i am now healed Sweep it is scored out of us, sweep it is scored out of us, sweep it is scored out of us. In victory I'm sealed. Oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am. And beloved Mary and legions of light, beloved Mary and legions of light, beloved Mary and legions of light, sweep throughout every line. Beloved Mary and legions of light, beloved Mary and legions of light, beloved Mary and legions of light, the sword of blue flame in thy hand. Beloved Mary and legions of light, beloved Mary and legions of light, beloved Mary and legions of light, heal instantly all on earth today. Beloved Mary and legions of light, beloved Mary and legions of light, Beloved Mary and legions of light, compel God cosmic instantaneous healing to forever hold his way. Beloved Mary and legions of light, beloved Mary and legions of light, beloved Mary and legions of light, I am God cosmic instantaneous healing that forever holds his way. Almighty oh, I am, Almighty oh, I am. Oh, mighty I am. And beloved, mighty I am presence, great central sun, and power and powers of healing. Charge, 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 blaze, blaze, blaze. Expand, expand, expand. Forever expand, forever manifest, and forever concentrate. A billion times more each instant of each day with lightning speed in the instant of each hour, the cosmic fire of the sacred love of the sacred fire, the healing love of the sacred fire, the invincible, victorious offering Christ in through and around and to all under this radiation and keep, keep, keep all under this radiation healed, healed, healed in advance today and forever a billion times more each instant of each day, with lightning speed each instant of each hour. Oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am. And now just feel descending from your causal body into your hands and using right here and now. All the blessings, talents, gifts of the presence. Just visualizing everything that you'd like to have descending from the presence into your outer activity in this moment. And let us call, beloved, mighty and presence, God of gold, and all the powers and powers of light we call. Release his supply to us, release his supply to us, release his supply to us, oh mighty I am. Release his supply to us, release his supply to us, release his supply to us, abundant money in our one hand. Release the supply to us, release the supply to us, release the supply to us, millions each hour, release the supply to us, release the supply to us, release the supply to us, by beloved victory's power. Oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am. And beloved mighty I am presence, beloved Virgo, and lords of the elements, we call compel billions and billions and billions of i am miracles of supply today 
compel billions and billions and billions of I am miracles of supply to hold this way. Compel billions and billions and billions of I am miracles of supply God's way. Compel billions and billions and billions of I am miracles of supply and victory to stay, in victory to stay, in victory to stay. Oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am. And now, just visualizing the flaming of ascension, that is the white flame, flooding and unfolding you, visualize that you are within the presence of beloved Jesus, and let us go. Beloved, mighty and presence, beloved Jesus, mighty healers, and your mighty legions of lighting, seal me and I under this radiation and hold us in the ascension plane. I demand its magnetic power keep us all disconnected from the mass destruction of the outer world and from those who are yet unawakened to this beloved mighty and presence or those who are caught in the saints consciousness of this mystery force. Oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am. And just feel Beloved Jesus, raising you into the ascended master presence that you already are in your cosmic level. And so it's done and it's sustained. Oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am, oh mighty I am. And now to seal the decrees let us just visualize the luminous presence of beloved sunshine man and his violet flame blazing and blazing and blazing in through and around this planet. Visualize the violet flame flooding all the beings that evolve in this planet, human beings, angels, elementals, and visualize the picture of the violet flame, which is the victory of the divine plan fulfilled for mankind, the life within this planet and the planet itself. And I know it's done and it's sustained. Almighty oh, I am, almighty oh, I am, almighty oh, I am. And to seal this victorious planet in our visualization, let us do the great invocation together. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men, let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men with Christ of eternity to earth from the center where the will of God is known. Let the purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where human creation dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. O oh, mighty I am, O oh, mighty I am, O oh, mighty I am. Let us take the water and finish the call for the lecture of light. Beloved I am present, Saint German, Brotherhood of the Royal Teton Retreat, Lords of the elements and power and powers of light, please charge, charge, and charge this mineral water 
with the blessings when they are saying that your master is octave of light and could you hear all the substances you needed to restore the beauty, youth, health, vitality, and perfection of the ascended masters in our physical bodies. Transmuted this water into the elixir of life. Transmuted this water into the elixir of life. Transmuted this water into the elixir of life. We are so thankful. By the light of God that never fails, I command and demand, and it's done right now. Almighty oh, I am, Almighty oh, I am, Almighty oh, I am. So visualize your water transforming into a beautiful elixir of life, so radiant, charged with whatever you need to manifest it. Christ perfection in your outer activity. And let's drink it together. Cheers. So it's done. Place the attention within your heart in the dwelling place of the presence within you, your threefold flame, your Christ presence. And pour your love upon your presence, upon all ascended masters, Elohim, archangels, cosmic beings of light, and all who have assisted us in our cause. Pour your love upon our life within this planet and earth itself. And may this mantle of love seal everything and everyone blessing all life on this planet. May this love alone rule us out today and forever. I am that I am, I am that I am, I am that I am. I am one with my source of light, the cosmic light, God Almighty, fulfilling all this call I am. Almighty I am, Almighty I am, Almighty I am. And beloved, mighty I am presence, ascended masters, Elohim, archangels, our higher mental bodies and cosmic beings of light, we sincerely send you our love and gratitude for all the blessings received and for all those yet to come. Take our decrees and multiply them thousands of times more each day and hour. Make them ever increase in their power until we have the momentum of light necessary to have them visibly manifest in our hands and use for our blessings and the blessings of mankind and our life on earth what we have called during our service for ourselves we also call for all human beings until only love wisdom and power of god lift us up in the eternal victory of ascension we are eternally grateful I am that I am, I am that I am, I am that I am. I am one with my source of life, the cosmic light, God Almighty, fulfilling all this call I am. I am that I am, I am that I am, I am that I am. And we feel it is true. We accept it as true. We manifest it. We manifest it. We manifest it right now by the power of a thousand suns and the light of God that never fails. I command, I demand, and it's done. Almighty oh, I am, Almighty oh, I am, Almighty oh, I am. And so, dear hearts, now we are going to dive into the core of our service, and today we are going to study the basics of the mental body. To start eating, uh, I just would like to remind you about the planes of nature. We have studied it last week. And so 
Here we have the physical, that is the smallest one within all other planes of nature. And we have seven. And the mental plane is the fifth plane uh, when we count downwards. So first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Uh, that means from the absolute to the physical or sometimes it's called the third plane when we count from the physical that is the densest and the smallest one to the absolute that is the source of all that existence and uh, it's good to know that uh, that mental plane is the bridge the bridge that connects our individuality, I think you remember from the last week, that is made of the electronic body, causal body, and higher mental body to the four lower bodies, which is our personality. And the connection, the bridge is to the mental level. And so it's made of of a very hair and subtle substance that normally is invisible even to those who are called clairvoyants because normally the clairvoyants they uh, see with the supernatural sight in the astral level that we call also feeling word or desired word and uh, the substance of the mental lab is so subtle that even clairvoyance, the normal ones, cannot perceive it. It's so subtle to be perceived by the inner senses of human beings, the most of them, and even um, spiritual uh, students. So, uh, and here I open also, I took this mental, and remember the planes like our bodies are not separated, they in, are interconnected, one permeated the another. So, and I took just the sphere or the mental realm, and I open it here, and I put it here. <laughs> A head with the brain, why? Because our brain is the organ of the mental in this physical world. And so all the planes also know you have seven planes of nature and each plane of nature are, um, is also subdivided in seven subplanes all the planes and each subplane are is also subdivided in another seven sub subplanes and so on and uh, in the mental plane uh, we have the same that it happens a little bit you no know, uh, what happens in the physical plane because i think you remember when i explained about the physical plane we have there two vehicles or principles that we have to experience life in the physical level, which is the physical body and the etheric body that works always together, one stick to other. And also in the mental plane, we have two bodies of experience. In the lower mental, <laughs> which is composed of the matter of the four densest subplanes of the mental plane, which is here, we have what we call the lower mental. That we say that is with body, and in the future we are going to explain why. And then, uh, so we have the lower mental, and the lower mental, we have our mental body, that what we call mental body. 
And then in the three finest subplanes of the mental realm, we have the higher mental, that we say that we is without body. Uh, we say that is here Rupa and here Arupa. Rupa with body and Arupa, Arupa without body. But then we are going to discuss it more uh, in depth in the future. Today we don't have time for that. We are just going to, to explain the basics. So in the higher mental, we have our higher mental body in the Theosophic teachings, they call also this area as the causal body. So in the mental plane, the mental uh, body is subdividing two levels. And in each one of these two levels, we have a body, a special body of experience. Remember in this higher mental, there is the permanent uh self or intellect or ego with a big cup um, that is what is evolving through uh, the lower uh, bodies that is the lower mental uh, emotional etheric and physical and each one of this level i have told we have the mental body, the mental body or mind body is what functions in this lower mental and is associated with ego, but not the ego with a big cup, but ego with a small cup, because this lower mental is very connected to the emotional realm or the astral realm that is a source of our desires, fears, illusions, dreams, and so on. And so the lower mind is connected with this ego, small ego, <laughs> and desire, personal consciousness, uh, that is more connected to our self-interests, and uh, often is characterized by limitations, uh, biases, biases, <laughs> so prejudices, I think it's easier for me to talk, and attachments. And the, the higher mental, uh, that is, um, uh, that forms together with the causal and the electronic, our individuality, so is connected to intuition, wisdom, the universal consciousness, and it is the real source of inspiration, creativity, and spiritual understanding. Is the higher mental body uh, that is the the instrument of. Uh, action of the causal and the electronic body that is the I am presence in the lower levels because the I am presence cannot descend here so it uses the higher mental body to perceive or to evolve or to master the matter of this lower plane the emotional matter and the physical matter and we are going to talk more about it also. So today we are going to concentrate ourselves in the mental body, that body that uh, functions in the four densest subplanes of the mental uh, plane. Uh, we have already studied the physical and emotional bodies of men in past classes. Uh, I think you remember when we studied the physical that we talk uh, especially about the nervous system. In, in the nervous system, we talk especially about the central nervous system, that is the spinal cord and the brain. 
and that is very important because the brain is the instrument of the mind in this physical body. And we have studied also the emotional uh, and the characteristics of this emotional realm or the astral realm. And now we are going to study the mental plane. And uh, firstly, we are going to concentrate today in this lower mental. And that is so important because after we understand how it works, the characteristic of this level, we uh, will have a clear uh, picture of the physical, emotional, and mental worlds. The mental plane, it's not something separated, so remember, it surrounds the uh, astral and physical and also permeates it. And there in the mental, we have the, uh, the city of, of our mental processes and our ability to perceive and understand the world around us. Um, of course, in this lower mental, we have the crystallizations that we are going to study in the next class through the soft forms. And we can just perceive the world around us through those filters. And so the importance uh, of purification of this level. So these three spheres here, you know that is the mental, the astral, and the physical are so important because uh, these three spheres serve as man uh, a schoolhouse and kingdom where he develops during earthly incarnations and between death and rebirth. Man's evolutionary journey is confined to these three words until the gateway of initiation opens for him. Because you see here, especially you no, know, the lower mental, because the higher mental, uh, it doesn't change from an embodiment to another. It's always there the same together with the causal and the electronic is the permanent self or the higher self and uh, it is always conscious i told you i think in the last week that uh the embodiments for the higher mental body and this individuality is like one day for us in this embodiment here no and so it's always there, this higher mental level. But it is for lower bodies change uh, in each embodiment. And uh, uh, in these three uh, levels that we have the mental, astral, and physical, is the schoolhouse of experience of all human beings uh, until someone through initiation can ascend it to higher levels, and we are going to talk especially about it also in the future. So this mental realm, which we call the mental world in its two levels, is also very important because the, in the theosophical teachings, they call it as Devakan. Devakan or Devaloka. Deva, Deva, it's God. No, the word for God, loka, means place, the place of gods that we can call the land of the gods. So the Vakan is a blissful place. How the mental helm is a blissful place. There uh, we don't have pain, we don't have sorrow, and evil cannot Allow, uh, uh, is not allowed to, to enter that level. It's really the, the peaceful rest and place where uh, human beings assimilate the results of their physical life 
first in this lower length and then they get into the higher length when, when it's there, they finish the assimilation and they are ready again to come back to uh, for another opportunity in another embodiment. And uh, uh, sometimes they call this mental level as heaven. Uh, it's much more than heaven. We are going to have a, a service that we are going just to explain what happened to us after death and what is this divakan area or this blissful place in the mental realm that everyone stay there. Because, and just that you know very quickly today, when someone dies, you know first that is the dissolution of the physical level that normally we indicate that can be cremated to, to be dissolved quickly. And then the dissolution of the teric when the body is cremated is together. And then the soul awakes with it, uh, his or her conscious, its consciousness in the astral level. If there is no, uh, not so much a substance, a negative substance, a dense substance in that level, uh, even when it still have a little bit, uh, that substance is uh, quickly dissolved and the seeds of that emotional level of that soul is just placed into the higher mental body. And that seeds, because sometimes you still have some negative conditions, that conditions, the ma matter of that conditions are dissolved in the astral level because in the mental, we cannot enter with any kind of neg negativity. So that seed just stay as a seed, you know, that negativity, the matter is dissolved, but we need it to come back in another embodied to continue our work to overcome that situation. But we cannot go with it to the mental because it's forbidden. And so, it just transforms into a small seed, and that seed is not in activity, it just stay dormant uh, in the mental level. Uh, and in the mental level, we enter there just with our good side. Even people that is still has lots of negative, but they if they have something good, they are going to enter the mental just with that good and the seeds of negativity will uh, remain dormant in the mental level for awaiting for the next incarnation. In the mental, because it's for this reason that is called that area uh, a blissful place, because no one can bring evil or something negative to that area. And in the future, we are going to talk more about what happens after we die and when we incarnate again, this cycle uh, of human beings, we are going to talk specifically. And today, I just want that you understand the key aspects of the mental body. So, Regarding its nature is made of a very subtle matter, a fluid-like substance that can be molded and shaped by thought. Uh, the astral matter is also uh, finer than the etheric level of our beings or the physical uh, matter. But the mental matter is still, is even uh, subtler than uh, the astral matter. And it's really, uh, every time that we think or that we connect because the atmosphere is filled, you know, uh, is full of thoughts and 
in our mental levels when a thought just drop there uh, that is undulations in our mental so it is constant in motion the mental matter of our beings and its uh, appearance is often described as luminous vibrant cloud that surrounds the emotional body you know uh, regarding its functions of the mental body, it is the immediate vehicle which the self manifests as intellect. The self is uh, the higher mental body or the individuality that is the, um, the, uh, the composition of higher mental causal and electronic body that we just say higher self and is really the higher self can just experience life even in the lower planes through the intellect that is uh, um, uh, the dwelling place of that intellect is in the lower mental so he garden its growth it grows life after life, embodiment after embodiment, in proportion to intellectual development, becoming more definitely organized as the attributes and the qualities of the mind become more and more clearly marked. It does not, like the emotional body, become a distinct representation of the man in form and victory when it is work in connection with the astral and physical bodies. I think you remember that we have our physical body like here, then the etheric body is just a replica of the physical body in a, in a, in a finer matter and then we have the emotional body that we are developing in this moment of uh, humanity in a collective moment we are developing this emotional body and in the average human beings these bodies is still not organized enough but when this body is really organized we have in the core of this uh, emotional body, we have somehow uh, the same shape and features that we have in the physical level. And that doesn't happen in the mental level. The mental level is radiant light. Uh, of course, because the body is interpenetrating each other, you are going to see in the center of the, main, uh, the mental body, the, the uh, emotional, etheric, and physical with that features. But the mental is energy, it's vibration. And uh, it's oval. It's for this reason we say the aura is oval, uh, egg-like in outline, interpenetrated the physical and emotional bodies, as we told it, and surrounded them with a radiant atmosphere as it develops. We say, for example, that in, after ascension of this mental level, just become one with the causal body and so the aura of an ascended master can expand in such a way to just unfold, unfold the holy planet and sometimes depending on the uh, consciousness of the being like Siddhartha Gautama, the causal body or the radiant can expand to unfold the whole system, uh, uh, solar system. So, because the mental body, as we develop the power of our mind, the intellect, and for this reason, so important to study 
and to learn and to work uh, uh, with our thinking because without it we cannot develop the mental body that is even uh, spiritual students they are so good but they 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 don't have a, a real mental body the mental level is just uh, connected to the awakened consciousness when they are in the body but in the mental lab they don't have any organized or real mental body it's not formed because they cannot think they do not work uh, with knowledge with understanding and for this reason that Siddhartha Gautam especially told us that we needed to learn to think, to use also our intellect in a good way, but you need to do it. And we are going to talk more about it in the future. So it expresses itself at the same time through color, sound and form. Therefore, it is the source and word of what we know as thought forms. Uh, and every time that we think, it forms in our mental level a picture. And together with our feeling, it generates a vibration that is color, that is sound. And, uh, and it becomes a thought form. And we are going to explain it in the next class more specifically the thought forms. And, uh, and for this reason, there is the source of the thought forms. Uh, we have some thought forms that is generated by thought, but then um, charged with the, a dense feeling. And that thought forms are so dense that they cannot do well in the mental level, so they do well more in the astral level. But even so, they are thought forms. And to finish our study, we are going to read some words from the books. Uh, in the book, In Man and His Body, that is the main book that we are studying now, any Bizan explained that one notable characteristic of the mental mind, uh, mind body, that is the lower mental, as seen in the human aura, is that it grows and becomes more active over successive incarnations along with the growth and development of the individual. Uh, this is a peculiarity to which we are not yet accustomed because we are going to explain it in the next class. It's better, but I go to explain why. We think that we understand, but we do not understand so deeply the situation. So a physical body is built dif differently from one incarnation to another based on nationality and sex, the culture, and uh, according to the divine plan that we need uh, to fulfill in that embodiment. Uh, and we are going to explain about these, uh, um, the type of the physical body that we choose it to have uh, and why we choose in this and this way, such and such a way, also in the future. No, and the body, it's, it's every time the physical body is built to uh, uh, work uh, according to nationality, sex, culture, family, and divine plan. But uh, although we tend to think of it, uh, although it is always uh, a new rebuild, uh, is in the same size, more or less in the same size, since the time of Atlantis. So the bodies that we have used in Atlantis civilization. Uh, is somehow the same, the same, it's not so different from the bodies that we have today. The astral body 
we observe growth in organizations. So as we develop the control of our emotions and balance the emotions in the astral level, our uh, emotional bodies become more organized and very similar in teacher to the physical level as we progress it. However, the mind body grows in size as, as the individual evolves further. So the expansion of our aura is through the expansion of our mental level that is through uh, our ability to think, to discern, through our wisdom. And as you stated, the mental body was created to be the vehicle of the higher self, the higher self, our individuality. But to do so, it needs to be purified. We needed to eliminate the negative daily and crystallizations from this realm so that the higher vibrations from the individuality can descend to the physical brain and to operate in this outer world. This undesirable material is known as mental entities, artificial elementals or soft forms. We will study the, the subject of soft forms uh, with more depth in the next class. But to conclude our study today about the lower mental, I would like also to read some more words from uh, the book, Soft Forms, that it was written by Annie Bizan and Led Beater, that both are from the Theosophical Society. So we have often heard it said that thought are things, and there are many among us who are persuaded of the truth of this statement. Yet very few of us have any clear idea as to what kind of thing a thought is. And I took this quote because it's so important, you know, even the Ascended Master student, we read in the Ascended Master discourse every time, thoughts are things. And I think every one of us know that, or we feel that as true. And, uh, but if I ask you, tell me what is a thought, I think 95% cannot find an answer. So we think we know what thought is, but if I needed to explain it, then I don't find words. So the understanding is not real, perfect in our mental levels. And for this reason that we allow ourselves to think negative negatively because if we understand the reality of thought we would never think a second of something negative and so for this reason we are going to start of course now we just have one hour one and a half hour we cannot do anything but time to time we are going to dive deeper and deeper in this understanding so we know what we are doing when we decree when we talk when we think when we feel something in this world so another quote is what is called the order of men is the outer part of the cloud-like substance of his higher bodies that is emotional, mental, and the causal body that is together with the higher mental body interpenetrate each other and extending beyond the confines of his physical body that is the smallest of all. They know also that two of these bodies, the mental and side bodies, emotional bodies, are those is chiefly concerning with the appearance what are called thought forms. 
and another quote from another book that I took because it's together with the, the uh, explaining the mental body. Uh, this quote is from a textbook in Theosophy by um, Ledbetter. Uh, he told us in that book, the size and shape of the mental body are determined by those of the, ca the causal vehicle. So, of a, an average human being doesn't have a real mental body. They, of course, they, they function in that area, but that area is very connected to the awakened consciousness in this physical plane. They do not have a vehicle of expression there until this moment. And we are going to talk more about it, you know. Uh, but as we evolve our um, um, mental body or our mental ability, it somehow um, copies or uh, replicate what we have in our causal body. Of course, in a less um, in a less condition, in, in a level a little more densifier, the colors are not so radiant like in the causal level, but it reflects somehow the causal body. There are in it certain striations, I think it is word, which divide it more or less irregularly into segments, each of these corresponding to a certain department of the physical brain. Remember, the physical brain is the organ of the mind in this world. And in the mental realm, we have segments there, departments that correspond to the brain, the lobes or the segments of our brain. And uh, uh, so that every type of thought should function through its duly assigned portion on the brain or in the brain. The mental body is as yet so imperfectly developed in order of men that are many in whom a great number of special departments in the mental level and in the brain lobes uh, are not yet in activity, and any attempt to exhort belong to those departments has to travel round through uh, some inappropriate channel which happens to be fully open. So an area cannot function because it's not yet developed. So when, for example, um, so that you can understand it, just to finish, he told, the result is that um, sought on those subjects is for those people cleansing and, and uncomprehending. For example, my husband is a wonderful human being, but he is not awake to his spiritual matter. So the department in his brain and in his mental lab of spirituality is not evolved in this moment. So we can talk to him, whatever we want to, to talk to him about his spirituality. There is no repugnance, there is no resistance, but there is no understanding about it because the level, the segment in the brain and the mental level is not yet evolved is not yet developed, so he cannot think, he cannot comprehend what we talk about is spirituality. And so on, uh, it happens with all the fields that sometimes we have some fields that are developed and others that not. And so we can understand more matters of what those segments that we work on, and those that we do not have activity, we cannot understand anything of that subject. This is why some people have a head for mathematics and others are unable to add 
correctly. Why some people instinctively understand, appreciate, enjoy music, while others do not know one tune from another. All the matter of the mental body should circulate and freely, but sometimes a man allows his thought upon a certain subject, especially some subject negative, to set and solidify, crystallize it, and then the circulation is impeded, he strained, and there is congestion uh, in the mental uh, level and also in the physical brain, which presently hardens into a kind of word on the mental body, crystallizations. Such a word appears to us down here as a prejudice. And until it is uh, dissolved, absorbed, completely dissolved, and uh, free circulation is restored, it is impossible for man to think truly or to see clearly with regard to that particular department of his mind, as the congestions he press the free passage of undulations both outward and within in word. So for today we are going to stop here these uh, crystallizations and uh, the substance of each crystallized in our brains work together and um, and that is the subject of thought forms that we are going to continue to work in the next class that is in this uh, subject of the mental body. That is very important that we can understand it very well. Of course, we cannot understand it in two, three, four, or even 10, 20 classes, but we can start to understand it and each week we are going to study a little bit more so that we can understand life in a very clear way. Because you see, in the teachings of Siddhartha Gautama, I, I love to read those, the first discourse of Siddhartha Gautama, and we do it always in Azala festival. And he started talking about, you know, the source or the uh, the origin of suffering, how we can handle it, and then he gives us the eightfold path. In the eightfold path, he starts talking about these eight uh, things that we needed to do, and the first thing that he told us is about right view, right understanding, right understanding, right view is together with this alignment, purification, harmonization, and expansion of our mental level. Because it's through the uh, right view, right understanding, that we can live here, uh, but not be an instrument of all the soft forms that there, there are floating in the atmosphere of this planet. And so it's really the development of our discernment that is together with the mental body, it's so important. Today we are going to stop here, but to stop here, I'd like just to do a small exercise with you to cleanse, to cleanse a little bit the brain structure because we are talking about the mental level, as we do a little bit in the protocol. So just first focus your attention in your heart, in your threefold flame, and especially in the golden petal of your threefold flame. Visualize the expansion of the golden light around your heart. And then feel 
that golden light from the heart being pumped upwards through the spinal cord into your brain. If you want, you can place the hands in your brain and just feel the golden light from the heart being pumped upwards into the brain, flooding every cell of your brain. Visualize this golden light, purifying every compartment or segment or lobe of this organ. Illuminating your brain until your brain structure expands, expands and expands, forming a dazzling golden sphere of light around your head. And hold it for a few seconds. And ask that your presence, your God presence within, can purify and illuminate your brain, its segments, and also the correspondent places or realms of your brain in your mental level. so that the wisdom of your presence can flow and guide you through your life. And just visualize your head expanding great light And it's done and it's sustained. Almighty oh, Yam, Almighty oh, Yam, Almighty oh, Yam. And your hearts, just to finish, let us send our love and gratitude to the royal to Tong retreat to the brotherhood there. Especially to the beloved Elanto. The beloved Elanto is a source of discernment, wisdom, illumination. And he told me that he will help us in this work of the seven sacred weeks in whatever we need so that we can raise ourselves from human limitations. So let's send him Beloved Saint Germain and all the brotherhood there, our love and gratitude. Also, let us send our love to our beloved and mighty and presence within our hearts, in our electronic level. And let us trust that there is only one power in intelligence govern us and our destiny, and our world, and no matter the outer appearance. And that is the mighty young presence. And that everything will be all right for us. Let's send our love to the presence and close with this blessing. Beloved and mighty and presence here, there, and everywhere. We love you, bless, and thank you forever, forever and beyond. For I am in you, and you are in me. 
We are one on this journey through eternity. Oh mighty Yam, oh mighty Yam, oh mighty Yam. And thank you, dear heart. So today we have just outlined the basics of the mental body, mind body, lower mental. And in the next class, we are going to explain just about the short forms that is connected to our mental level and also with the emotional, but we are going to explain more just about thought forms in the next class and i just would like to remind you in the next week we don't go to do our service on friday but on saturday because my husband has an event and i need to go with him also came back in my dog and so we are going the family together and we are going to do the next class on Saturday. But I go to put a in mind also in the link when I post the link for the sex. And just to finish, I would like to send you my love and gratitude and my wish that you have a wonderful weekend with friends and family that you will stay centered in your I am presence, in perfect harmony, enjoying life, but in perfect harmony. And that you have a wonderful week and that we can see each other again next Saturday. God bless you. Bye.